I see him every Sunday. Hmm? Which one? You want that one? Or you want to do Puff? Who's that guy? Oh. Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea. And when you hear the attention he pays to the words of these songs, it means so much to him. It's like he's trying to communicate certain things to me. An extraordinary old he wants me to listen to these words, which were very meaningful. And uh, I said, yes, I hear, I understand that, Paul. In an ordinary house was a boy in whose head was locked an untold story. <coughs> we have concluded our consultation, and being of one mind... The best in all medicine, may we add. We have come to the conclusion that your son will not, nor cannot, speak, communicate, nor indeed relate in any way to the world around him. Can't you give us some hope? Alas, the case is hopeless. That's the thing that's so tantalizing about this, you know, that sometimes you'll see a flash. His name. And for the moment, he is cognizant of everything. And don't worry. And I would say, oh my God, there's really somebody in there, you know? And then it vanishes. But I see him for just that instant. Am I all better? Well, we'll see. To be truly better, you must make a journey with me. But where are we going? <laughs>